I am a sick man. I tell you solemnly that I have many times tried to become an insect. Such a gentleman simply dashes straight for his object like an infuriated bull with its horns down, and nothing but a wall will stop him. In that case, of course, people are not spiteful in silence, but moan. But they are not candid moans. They are malignant moans. And the malignancy is the whole point. That was the nastiest part of it. It would mean that I was positively defined. It would mean that there was something to say about me. So I suppose this obstinacy and perversity were pleasanter to them than any advantage. Besides, he will at once be transformed from a human being into an organ stop or something of that sort. For what is a man without desires, without free will and without choice, if not a stop in an organ? So far you know, this is only your supposition. But meanwhile, I will not take a hen house for a mansion. I swear to you, gentlemen, there is not one thing, not word of one word of what I have written that I really believe. At that time I was 24. I was followed by remorse. I tried to drive it away. I felt too sick. All of them took scarcely any notice of my entrance, which was strange, for I had not met them for years. The table was not laid even. There was no trace to be seen of them, but that made no difference. I knew where they had gone. The candle end had been burning on the table was going out and gave a faint flicker from time to time. Can you seriously think that you will never grow old, that you will always be good looking, and that they will keep you here forever and ever? And I was so taken up that morning that I actually forgot all about Liza. You have found me in a strange position, Liza, I began stammering and knowing that this was the wrong way to begin. In the first place, by then I was incapable of love. For I repeat, with me loving meant tyrannizing and showing my moral superiority.